Alright, this is going to be an instructional video for uh, setting up and programming the DBC RC2. It's a special board that connects to a hem longboard RX 13, 14, or 18. And what it does, it allows you to get rid of your receiver and allows you to use a hobby radio. In this case, we're using the Spectrum DX5E, 5 channel radio. Now you need to connect it through the same three data, three wire data cable that used to go to your old receiver board. It will power the DBC RC2, which will power your new receiver that you get with your hobby radio. We're just going to be connecting the four channels today just to show you how to program it. Very important, you put the jumper in first. Um, also, I wanted to show this has dual sound cards. One sound card is just for your cannon shot fire sound, your cannon fire sound. The other sound card is for your hit sound and your death sound. So they'll all be separate. Uh, you daisy chain the power, the positive and the negative. And then the, you know, the, the signals, the three different signals have their own shot, have their own spot. <laughs> this is like take three, so I, if I mess up, I'm just going to go through it, so at least you guys can see how it's done, and it may be a little bit easier to set up if you get the board. All right, so on this one, you know, I got, I'm using the IR LED because I want to test it. It's going to a customer, and the DBU is inside the tank, so I'm going to test the connection at that point, and I'm also going to set up and program it for the customer right now. So I'll turn the radio on first, and I'll turn the tank on. Now with the jumper in, we're going to set up first, there's a nice uh, PDF drawing that David did, this is David's system, and uh, first, the first graph, we're going to set the weight. So we move the stick, for this one it's medium. Let it center, let the lights go off, that's set it for medium. Then I want a unique uh, destroy sound, which is basically you're going to use uh, the two sound cards. So again, I let it center back, that's set for the unique sounds. Now we're going to save this. Alright. Then you have to turn the tank off. Remove the jumper a little jumper turn the tank back on and now we're going to continue with the programming let's see I wish I could show you this graph at the same time but it's just me doing the production here so I believe they do not want the memo, so we'll put the momentum off, set, they want the super spin off, set, um, the recoil will be blocked, so it won't do the hem, it won't do the hem long recoil, that's what that means, and then now it should save and start up. I have the little gun off off the screen so I'm testing it to make sure I set it up for medium. No super spin. Oops. <laughs> 
I didn't want to show that. But no super spin. It's been removed. That's it. It's all set up.